So today I need to make a new Facebook group so I thought I'd show you how to do it. So here I am in my Facebook account and I'm acting as myself. So all I need to do is come up here to these nine squares and go to create group. So now I need to name my group. So I'm going to do social video club members only. You can choose your privacy of your group. So I'm going to make mine private and whether you want your group visible to the general public or hidden. I'm going to keep mine visible at the moment, but if you wanted to, you can go ahead and do it hidden. You can invite friends straight away. Otherwise, you can just create your group for now. So go ahead and press create. There's already a member, already a group called SVC members only. So obviously, if that happens, then you need to rename your group. So I'm going to name mine social video club and then click create. OK, so now I've created my group. What I like to do first is actually make sure that the URL up here actually reflects the title of my group. So in order to do that, what we need to do is go into the admin area. So to find that, we need to come down here on the left and we need to go to group settings. Now group settings, we already have our name and description. So we've already got our name. This is where you can fill in your description if you want to. New member intro, we can add that in in a little while. Privacy, we've already set. High group, we've already set. Location, I'm going to leave mine open. Now to customise your group, we want to change the web address so that it reflects the name. So I'm going to change this to social video club members. OK, so that's available. So go ahead and click Save. So now you can see that it's automatically changed that. So you can go ahead and change any other aspect along here as well. But I'm just going to keep mine the same and you can come into this section and do this yourself. So go back to Community Home. OK, so now I want to change this cover. So what I did previously is I went into Canva and I used the Facebook cover option which is 1640 by 924 pixels. But what I made sure I did is usually it's a little bit more horizontal to this. So I've just kept most of my information in the center. I've already downloaded it. So all you have to do is come here and click the edit button, go to upload photo, and then choose the photo from your drive and click open. Now, once it's uploaded, you can see that there is this band across the top. So if you want to, you can move it up and down a little bit, just fitting it in better, but that looks pretty good to me. And then just go ahead and click Save Changes. So now that it's saved that, you can see that it fits nicely into the space on the desktop and on the mobile, what will happen is it will probably crop it, but we will get the majority of that image in. Now all that's left to do is to invite your members. So if you've got members that you want to invite, you can just click the invite button. You can invite by Facebook friends, you can invite by email, or what I would preferably do is click the top here, copy this, and then message the individuals in Messenger with the link so that they can come straight to it. Now, just quickly, so that you can ensure who comes into the account and who doesn't, what you can do is come back down here to membership questions and ask pending members up to three questions when they request to join the group. So this is really good if you want to keep the group so that you know who's coming in. So let's just ask the questions. Ask question. So my asked question is, um, please leave the email address that you signed up to the social video club that you used to sign up for the social media club. So now you can change this to written answer. So they have to put their email address in here. Click save. So they've got to do, please leave the email address that you, that you use to sign up for the social video club. 
Then if you want to, you can create more. You can have up to three of these. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then when they come to join the group, they'll have to answer that question. My name's Anita Wong. I hope you found this quick video on how to create a Facebook group useful. If you have any questions, drop them below this video. And of course, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Facebook group and Facebook page how to's and problem solving videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.